So through my experience in, in university and working later on with uh, Indigenous and non-Indigenous students, uh, I kind of realized there was this need for uh, relationships based on more solidarity towards Indigenous responses to coloniality. So I took these kind of teachings of love and honesty you know, and these values that we learn through uh, traditional ceremonies and practices yeah, and tried to bring them somewhat into the university context. One of the views I like is to, to work with uh, healers and traditional health practitioners and bring them together with people who work out of the academy and in the medical kind of field and just see what emerges from it, you know, with our collective knowledge. When we go into the field, like we take a group of students uh, to the Sundance uh, from our elders' vision. And so they experience and just supporting and helping and understanding how and healing practices can contribute to Indigenous well-being. The kind of Indigenous view of relationality, good relationships with the humans and non-humans, and the more than humans uh, is important uh, because it shows you how to relate to other people as well as with the economy. It's not about extraction and development for consumption. You know, it's about a relationship with something else living, right? And there has to be kind of an unlearning and relearning for non-Indigenous people. Like the elders teach us, you keep moving forward and, and see what emerges, you know, maybe something good can emerge. And so I think it's our role as academics and people who desire to work in solidarity to uh, use this kind of as a foundational place to work on revitalizing institutions and relationships.